Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music TV and TMTV and Tony's Music YouTube channel. I'm going to show you how to uh, add new videos to your channel on TV Botfire. And I'm going to first of all go to my channels, click on Tony's Music TV and the pencil, go to videos. Uh, obviously I've got a lot of videos on there, uh, I've got 41 now so I'll go to the last file which is Angels which was the last one I put on. I'm going to add one to that now so I'll just click on add and it comes up with the video title video ID 42 so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to take off the, the, um, the little space between video and ID there and change that to 42 at the front of there like so then I'm going to add a video title which I've already got a video called Big Mistake one of the recent ones I've done right Big Mistake right and I don't know what the description of it so I'm going to have to have a look on Adillo which is my video hosting platform see if I can find it and let's have a look on search videos you need a video hosting platform for your video and there it is Look, I've got my video on there so I'm just waiting for it to come up now oh it's on clarinet clarinet videos I should have put I put it there first sorry uh, as you can see it's got FHD which means full um, high definition which is what my town is music TV is right oh I made a mistake on that considering it's the, the word oh, there you go let's do that and just press enter All right it's coming up now there we go now we're gonna look at that one and see what it says at the bottom if there's any um, thing is on it I can't remember who it was for I don't know I've got any information on it let's have a look if there's any information oops I just started it accidentally there now I haven't put a comment in I should have put a comment in there never mind what I'll do is I'll go on to YouTube and have a look on there a moment open a new tab YouTube channel there's my channel right so what I need to do oh, that's there, right, a bit there. go to manage videos I should find it at the front of there in a minute just to find out what the actual details was of it because I forgot the details so been a short while since I've done it um, there it is big mistake this is a tune sent by Natalie Umbruglia okay so that's what I need to put in the description okay tune that was sang I don't know i put too many capitals in there and you put all in capitals in just at the beginning aren't they? that's just I'm that used to doing capitals because I'm they're doing them for um, top all songs and things like that this is a tune that was sung to by capital N Spell it anyway, right? Uh, I've got a thumbnail, so I'm just going to get the thumbnail, which should be 800 by 450, and there's my thumbnail there, right? And as you can see, it says there when you click on it, there just 800 by 450 thumbnail image of your video in JPEG or PNG, PNG format. Well, it's in PNG format because I use PNG more than anything. Copyright, you can either put in uh, the C copyright thing and then put your 
what's it on or it does say to you you can use your um, license details which is what I do so I need to go on um, here which is my OneDrive and go to documents click on my documents there and my licenses are there so I'm just going to click that and then share that whole file because I'm not going to search for a particular one I'm just going to search for um, the whole, one file out of about a hundred so I'm just going to share the lot so if there's anything that doesn't cover it I've got another one to cover it so, so I'll do that that makes it easier for me I've applied it now I just need to copy that to onto there so I'll copy that paste so now that's my cover for if I have a problem with um, copyright issues or anything so that should cover me right now because I'm doing clarinet put clarinet as my first tag right so always enter each one and then instrumental because I do instrumental flute as well so instrumental so if I was doing the flute one it would be flute first instrumental second then I'll probably do something like a video um, entertainment I always put the first letter in capitals you don't have to but if you if you keep doing the same thing for everyone it'll work all right for you if you change what you do and change it from capitals to uh, small letters then they won't catch it'll be a separate tag for the different things say so uh, if you keep them the same it works better I don't know that's going to be pop right so that's a, a genre of there and then it gives you a genre for the for, for the video that you're using now the thing is with these I always find that it doesn't show anything about music so I always put it on special for that and um, then we go let's click that off let's go down to content all right now content is all about all the files that you need to add which I will be adding some triple files which I'm gonna have to make shortly so what we need to do is we need to go to Edilo first go on to big mistake share and embed files link and that's my direct link for the actual video I'll copy that go out of that going straight back onto my TV boss oh yeah and I'm going to go straight to the URL for the video resources here click on the little pencil tool and replace the URL that's in there because that's only a fake one and then paste there Right, so I paste it there and change that to FHD and then that's MP4 which is what we want and then click on this little circle with a little dot inside it and that should work out your bitrate and that's 3071 yeah and I'll, I'll click accept that and then I've got to go up and get the duration put on here which is 469 Right, so I'll click on the duration there and put 469 oops a mistake nine right so that's okay right, I'm going to carry on with the other stuff down the bottom here I usually put my name in credits here and stuff so like as um, the producer so you, you click on add and then you put your name in now for me to take the town name go go by that name rather than Anthony and I'll put in me as the producer because I produce most of the stuff myself I don't have anybody else helping me really and then you're supposed to put your birth date in but I'm going to leave that uh, as that for the moment right Um, I can change that later but while I'm recording it I'm not going to put my date of birth in so um, right and then pen rental rating I'm going to put it as U for universal because most of my stuff is uh, suitable for everybody and UK content provider right and that's it I, I, I have to just um, 
then go to the trick play files. Now to use the trick play files you need to have a trick play file maker. I have found this one is a free version trick play file maker which I found on um, Play Store. I think it was. Um, yeah, Play Store I think it was. Trick play file maker. It's free and you can download it. It works pretty good. It comes up with an error message at the beginning. All you got to do is click the error message off and then put your your file that you've got from there, the URL, the direct link in. Um, I usually do the SD file first and then click on that, let that run. And then as soon as that one's done, I'll, do, I'll, I'll restart it doing an HD one. And the SD one will be for HD quality on Firebus. And the HD one will be FHD on TV Firebus. Because obviously there wasn't FHD on there. It'd probably be better in the future. And they'll make it more useful. I mean, you can use different... Um, sizes to what I've used. I use 240 by 180 and then I use the other one by 180 for the HD just to keep them uniform but um, it might not be the best way to do it um, but I've got this easy to use trick play file maker which is um, free so I'm gonna do what I think is right for the moment and if I find out it's wrong later I can change to the ones if needed or I might have to find a paid one in the future if I need to update everything I can update it on a new one by paying for one that works with the higher um, resolution trick play files later but at the moment these are working for me so I'm going to use these obviously okay just wait for this to finish it'll be finished in a minute then I'll have to do the HD one When it's finished, what I'll do is I'll right click it and it'll come up with clear screen. So I'll clean that, I'll clear that, and then I'll paste the actual URL back on and change the size. That's what I have to do. You have to do that. I don't know why you have to do that. It should reset it automatically, but it doesn't. So yeah, but, uh, if, if you don't reset it, you can't make the new one because it just says it's already done, you see. So that's why I have to do that but you can batch them you can put a load on and do them together but I, I wouldn't advise it because you get all confused which, which file is which you know what I mean so I'm going to change that to HD now and I'm going to use the 320 by 180 so my original one is 240 by 180 and the other one's 320 by 180 right so if I do that one when that one's done then I'm going to go to the documents folder and I'm going to have to find each one of those because obviously they're going to be named as 1080p and the other one's going to be named as whatever it is right and I'm going to have to change the names of them to like big mistake SD and HD but no gaps in between the name so it's going to be big mistake HD all together is one word okay or SD whichever I'm just waiting for this to finish so when it's finished we'll uh, get on with it shouldn't be long now anyway and then we need to go to Vidal Drive or another kind of web hosting um, drive would be um, available to you probably somewhere uh, you'd have to you have to find out that they're my files and they're in here so that one is supposed to be the SD one so I need to change that to B I G I'm just gonna leave it as all low letters after the first one except for the eight, uh, SD piece which I'm gonna put on as capitals so we know it's the SD like that so we know it's a big mistake and it's got SD on right and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that save me um, 
redoing it, but go to the HD one. That's the same one, so I'll click on that. Rename and paste that on. And then change the S to uh, H. Show me a bit of work. Right, like that. Right, so we got that. Big mistake. A HD, big mistake. SD. Let's go just to there. Now, what I need to do is go to Vidal Drive, which I've got there. That's Vidal Drive. And put this on here. Right, so what I need to do is first go to the SD files, which I've got there. There's a load of SD files I've got there. And then click on that and drag this big mistake to there. Upload that. Right. Then what I'll do is just refresh that page just to make sure I can see it. Probably on the next page. Let's see if we can see it. Big mistake there it is. Right, so I've clicked on the actual uh, file and it comes up with a direct link there. So I'll click on that. Select that and copy that. And then go to um, TV Boss Fire and paste that in. Save that. Right. Go back to the drive. Change it to my files there, go to the HD one, find me file again, let me file, go to HD, drag that across, and it's uploading that then, big mistake, HD, right, so it's probably on page two, so let's just have a look, there it is, and then we just select the direct link, copy, Go back onto TV Boss Fire, paste it on there, and that's the that's it done. Then that should be done. All I need to do once I've done that is go down to the bottom, and you'll find the save there. Click on that save, and you should be okay. And it says there, channel saved successfully. So hopefully, within six hours or a little bit more than that you'll get those channels on your channel I mean those videos on your channel sorry but that's how you do it okay I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can understand how to use trick files and use a trick file maker to create your files that you need which have to be put on a web host to get the direct link off if you don't get the direct link off um, it won't work. The direct links have got to be files with .bif at the end of them. If they haven't got .bif at the end of them, they're not trick play files, right? It's the same with the um, direct link for the MP4 file. It's got to be have .mp4 on. If it doesn't have .mp4 on your, your direct link, it's not a direct link. Okay. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope it's useful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe to Tony's Music YouTube channel if you can and if you can also um, download my Tony's Music TV if you've got FHD and if you haven't use TMTV which is the green one um, on there because there's two on there and it stands for Tony's Music TV as well and that one's HD so if you want to do that please do so and other than that have a great day and enjoy Enjoy the video and stay safe. Thank you very much.